Alrighty, next game up here is the Cardinals and the Browns. And, you know, this was our best bet of the week. Cardinals plus three. They have no problem handling this team. They don't need their head coach. Once again, this Cardinals team has won a new way every single week. Everybody's talking about the scoregami this week of um, which game was it? Uh, the Giants... Um, Giants Rams game no score has ever ended in 38 and 11 I guess that score scoregami I mean if you were over social media um, it was all over the place so scoregami folks um, well um, so um, what was I just trying to point that to um, Cardinals winning a new way every single week so now they can win without their head coach folks so um, just this Cardinals team is exactly who we thought they were Vegas is disrespecting them they're still our number one team in the power rankings they've they're winning without their head coach uh, they they won without some of their linemen as well they are finding ways to win they are finding ways to win and looking real gosh dang good putting up 37 points in the process so this Cardinals team um, you know it's a pity if you don't have them at number one this is the best team in the league, hands down, obviously. Kyler Murray did his thing, 20 of 30. Uh, 20 of 30, what do we got completion percentage-wise? 66%, 229 yards, four touchdowns, no turnovers. Look at this. He did fumble four, t four times, but didn't lose any of them. So very well done to Kyler Murray there, geez Louise. Uh, but yeah, turnover-free game for the Cardinals, folks. 37 points, getting after it. The rushing attack by the Cardinals is sneaky good as well. Uh, running back by committee is very, very, very good. James Conner, 16 carries for 71 yards. Chase Edmonds, 4 carries for 46 yards. Getting it done. All right, who was Kirk, uh, Kyler Murray throwing to? A.J. Green, 5 receptions, 79 yards and a touchdown. Christian Kirk, 5 receptions, 75 yards and a touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins, 3 receptions, 55 yards and 2 touchdowns. Rondell Moore, only 3 receptions for 16 yards, but they didn't even need them. Man, oh, man, these, uh, these receivers here by the Cardinals, A.J. Green, Christian Kirk, obviously DeAndre Hopkins, all getting it done on a consistent basis. Even the Browns defense couldn't even stop them, and you knew where they were going to be going with the ball. So, great job by this Cardinals team from start to finish. I mean, look at this. I mean, scoring on their first four drives, five drives, every single drive that they had in the first half, they scored the ball. They came out firing two touchdowns on the first two drives. Browns trying to get a little bit cute out here, going for it on fourth and three, not taking points when they were down 7-3. A little eager right there. So once again, Kevin Stefanski is getting a little out-coached right here a little bit. He's kind of maybe seeing what Joe Staley um, uh, Staley's doing with the Chargers. Brandon Staley's doing with the Chargers of being so, uh, so aggressive right here. I think, I mean, given the entire circumstances heading into this game of, you know, all the, you know, potential outs and how big of a game this was and then once you get into the red zone down three nothing or down seven nothing you go for it and don't take three points to make it a seven three game I mean you got to get some confidence here you got to start building some points right here you're not going to be scoring seven points out of every single drive we see this by the Cardinals they score three straight field goals right here and that didn't phase them that didn't shake them they still stuck to it so a little unfortunate Kevin Stefanski last week with some play calling you know in the fourth quarter when it was getting crazy in the fourth quarter with all the scoring and then here to open up this game so we've been kind of complimenting you know gushing over Kevin Stefanski all last season all off season all the first kind of four or five weeks here of this season but these last two weeks man some of the coaching decisions are not truly reflective of what has made this Browns team so good last season so I think Kevin Stefanski is getting away from what this Browns team is all about which is the collective not relying on Baker Mayfield or the running game too much to win you the game a full complement passing and offense with a healthy mix of the defense uh, getting it done as well so so, little, uh, little starting to fall off of this Browns team as a whole. And once again, we're not going to be judging Baker Mayfield too harshly in this game. Um, you know, because it was against the Cardinals. So we're still going to kind of see what he can do next week to truly get a good gauge. We're not going to be falling off of him because of this bad performance. Uh, because, I mean, and once again, I mean, yeah, they didn't win this game, but they were down 20 to nothing. And what did Baker Mayfield do? Two touchdown drives to end the first half to go into halftime down 23 to 14. 
And then he starts to fumble because we know Baker Mayfield. Let's Well, let's start talking about these stats because Baker Mayfield had three big turnovers right here. And once again, the fumbling is the biggest thing by Baker Mayfield. The unclutchability fumbling by Baker Mayfield, which we've known about his entire career, is once again showing up this season. And that's giving us pause on Baker Mayfield. But uh, let's talk about uh, Baker Mayfield now, 19 of 28, 67% completion percentage, 234 yards, all that is good, two touchdowns, all that is good, but the one interception and two fumbles, first intercept, well, first fumble came in the first quarter, in the second quarter, and the Cardinals only cash in three points, he throws an interception on the following drive, they cash in three points, so six points off of turnover so far, and then the fumble in the third quarter really just ices the game, making it 30-14 to 14 because the Cardinals score a touchdown off of it, so 13 points off of turnovers here, you take off 13 points for the Cardinals, and we've got 24-14, uh, to 14, a competitive game in the fourth quarter, maybe Baker Mayfield wins it, so... Just the turnovers, got to clean them up by Baker Mayfield. You know, once again, maybe trying to do a little bit too much. Kevin Stefanski relying on Baker Mayfield a little bit too much out here. We understand there was no Nick Chubb, and it was all just Kareem Hunt, so a little lackluster in the running game. But, man, oh, man, geez. And it was against his Cardinals defense, the best, you know, team in the league overall. Very solid defense as well. We're not going to be fading Baker Mayfield as much as the media is. I already saw San Shannon Sharp give Baker Mayfield an F- minus or an F grade, which I don't necessarily not agree with but uh you know i this is against the cardinals you know so i'm not going to judge the performance too harshly yes it wasn't a great performance by baker mayfield he stuck in the game here but then that third quarter fumble really ruined the game Alrighty, what else we got here? Rushing the ball. Kareem Hunt, only rusher out there. 14 carries for 66 yards. Who was Baker Mayfield throwing to? Donovan Peoples-Jones, leading receiver. Four receptions, 101 yards, two touchdowns. OBJ, five receptions, 79 yards. And then Demetric Felton, uh, two receptions, 14 yards. So we see the big drop off there. So overall, the Browns lose this game kind of a blowout fashion, 37-14. to 14. And uh, Baker Mayfield is going to have to hear it in the media all week long.